I'm Jeff and welcome back to another exciting episode here at the Homestead and in this week's episode we're going to be finishing off the patio you see there behind me. So let's dive in. challenge on this project here tying the new patio into the existing walkways and because the existing walkways are not part of this project we need to make sure we keep our slope proper for the patio keeping water moving away from the house while tying in to the grade of the existing path so what I'm finding easiest in the case of this job is actually just lift up a few rows of the existing pathway and slowly bring it up to height to match the new patio Once everything's had a chance to dry, we'll come back, we'll clean off the top and re-sand it so it just ties right into the new patio almost seamlessly outside of the color change and brick change. So I'm going to be edging this entire patio with snap edging. Now, it comes in a straight line, but it can easily be cut on these back reinforcements to curve it in either direction. Now we're dealing with square patio here, we don't need to worry about that. And I typically like to lay my entire patio down and cut my stones in place before I put these in. Now, in the case of this corner here, where we transition from the walkway to the house, we've got a few impediments in the way, like the window well, the original walkway, and it's just it's too cramped to make the cuts ahead of, or cuts after they've been laid. So we're gonna cut our snap edging, we're gonna place it, and then cut the stones to fit. So my drawstring, my pull start just pulled out of my concrete saw. So my drawstring, my pull start just Which pulled out of my concrete Which means cutting is going to be a lot slower now because I got to use the angle grinder. Which means cutting is going to be a lot slower now because I got to use the angle grinder with a four-inch cut disc until I can get this tied back up. And I don't have torque bits to take apart the body right now. So I'll show you how I like to mark pavers to cut them after I've already laid in my snap edging uh, in order to get a nice straight cut every time. So I'll set my paver exactly where it needs to sit and then I'll use this another piece of scrap snap edging and line it up perfectly looking top down with the rim below. Then grab one of your snap spikes and just score the top and that will give you a perfect cut line every single time. that easy to fit them in place after you've laid your snap edging. Now again, I prefer to lay all my pavers first and then make my cuts because you get a nice straight cut every time. But it's a good thing I'm not doing that today because I'm missing that concrete saw. It takes a lot more time to score all your edges, snap it, and then clean up the middle than just making one solid pass with that concrete saw. <laughs>
Good morning, everybody. Sun is shining. Who would believe it? We haven't had any decent weather in so long. It feels like weeks since I've seen the sun. Anyways, we're just getting the stucco there trimmed up so we can stick some vinyl in and cover off that blue skin. And then the last thing to do today is build some steps to get into the house. And uh, this project's finished. So even though this is pressure treated, I don't want to leave it sitting right on the concrete uh, pavers just so it doesn't pull in moisture over time. So what I've picked up is these little brackets. They're just L-shaped stainless steel brackets. They're meant for tying decks and stuff like that with framing together. So they'll sit on just like that, be perfect enough to raise it up off the ground, but not so much that you'll ever see them. Should work well. Okay, so I changed my mind. I don't like how small that top step was going to be coming out of the stairs. So that one I just built is going to become the top step. I'm going to make a bigger one for the bottom. We're going to transfer those feet over to raise it up off the pavement and yeah, it'll be better. Okay, those are much better step sizes. So let's get the treads on them. So bottom treads first, then we'll put the top box on. Top treads, then the steps are done. Just like that, all in a week's work, we're done. Well, if you don't count the week of rain 
that we had. Anyways, I think it turned out pretty well. Clients seem really happy. So that brings this episode to a wrap. Thanks a ton for watching, and I really don't know what's next for coming down the pipeline at the homestead, but stay tuned, it'll be an exciting one.